studio is well known amongst DC people as a place to get your unusual street clothes. They have all kinds of styles up there, so whatever your selection is, he's got it. If he ain't got it, he'll get it for you. Chuck, 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 you're in the mood for a nice green. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Here, please give it a try. This, you're handsome, but this makes you even more handsome, Hello. Chuck. <laughs> oh, wow. My good Thank clothes. you, Dave. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. This is my man, Daryl, better known as Grindstone. And he's a local DC designer here, man. My man, and that take, check his shirt out. Don't that look like me? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his daddy, you know what I'm saying? That's not me, that's his daddy. A lot of people ask when he come in here, don't they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> as you can see, you know, it's a variety of things, you know? But most of the guys in the band comes up here, and most of the come out of town come here. I know guys from in Baltimore that comes over here. Shop. Something that you can't find somewhere else, you can find it here. Any kind of look you want, your look, you can make up your look in here. You can develop your image in this store. And he'll help you, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> help you to pick what you need to help you look right, to help you look good, you know? And this is why I come here. Take you to my favorite place to eat, right here at Ben's Chili Bowl. Ben's Chili Bowl was where President Obama went to get his lunch the day after he was voted into office. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. That's right. That's you right. didn't have no hair on your face. Nah, I saw that. Yeah. I don't even think I had a face then. <laughs> Got people from all over that comes here. No, Bill Cosby, Sammy Davis Jr. He's been in here. Uh, what about the world famous Chuck Brown? You, he's been in here too. Oh yeah. That's the time. I grew up right on this street. You know, this is my old stomping ground. So you remember when it was Black Broadway? Oh man. Oh yeah. Pass smoke, chili on the side. Pass smoke with the chili on the chili. Chili on the chili. That's right. <laughs> I will be, I'm chili with the chili, baby. <laughs> chili has smoke. Nothing on it but chili. This place is, is a historic landmark. Whatever country you're in, whatever city you're in, if you ever come through here, make sure you stop here. You gotta stop here. Here's Chili Bowl. Hi, everybody. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Chuck. All right. How you doing, doing now, man? All right. Just down the block from Ben's Chili Bowl in the U Street corridor is one of my favorite venues for live music, the Bohemian Caverns. I used to come here in the 50s and 60s and watch the artists, you know, people like Miles Davis and Ella Fitzgerald. This club is a landmark. Obviously, everybody knows where the monuments are in the yeah. Capitol building, the White House, um, but this is, this is, you know, one of the many treasures of D.C. as well, um, yeah, this is. entire area and strip. And it'll be it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Give yourself some love. Give yourself a hand. Yeah. I'm so happy to be back here. I'm glad to see that this historic club is still here. It was put together in 1926. Would you believe that? And I didn't know that, that it's been here that long.
I'm Kate Michael, also known as K Street Kate. Getting about by foot and bike in Washington, D.C. is the best way to really see the true character of the city. We're here in Meridian Hill Park, also known to locals as Malcolm X Park. This park is located in Columbia Heights, right next to Adams Morgan. 12 full acres of green space. In the 70s and 80s, crime was rampant in the park and drug deals were often witnessed. But in the 90s, a group of citizens came together to make the park a safe place and organized night patrols. This park has definitely been cleaned up. You can see people from all over the city coming here to enjoy green space. In fact, DC has more green space than most other urban cities in the United States. We're very proud of being a very green city. The thing that struck me most about Washington, D.C. when I first moved here is that this city is about more than politics and monuments and memorials. It's a place where life is really lived. This is Moulet. In my opinion, Moulet is the place in D.C. to shop for furniture and fashion. Christopher, every time I come in here, there's something else that's really cool. Where do you find this stuff? Well, actually, the name of the store, Moulet, means to come home on the island of Java. I'd lived there for four years, became entirely inspired decided it was time to bring some of this beautiful, organic, modern furniture to the U.S. What's that? <laughs> this is actually one of my favorites. It's called Chiquita. Before I tell you anything about it, I need you to try to experience this stool. Okay. Have a seat. Try it out. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that groovy? <laughs> yeah. So what happens is these rattan poles ride on a bed of foam and Dacron, so that each one moves to, to the contour of your bottom. Way more comfortable than I expected it would be. Isn't that fun? This case is full of Paula Mendoza jewelry. She's a local designer, actually born in Colombia, but lives here in D.C. now. And she designs the most incredible jewelry. I love every piece of it. I wish I could have every single thing in this case. This story is really a hidden gem for me. I love to walk in and see all of the new pieces. I feel like things in here are really unique not things you can find around the rest of the city, and that's why I like it so much. Honestly, it's probably not furniture that I would put in my own house, but I know there's a lot of people that shop here. The clothes, on the other hand, are definitely things that I'm looking for. Cafe for the famous drag queen brunch. This only happens on Sundays. All right, guys, let's welcome to the stage, to the floor, the lovely Miss Jocelyn Correo. Give it up, guys. Come on. Everybody's always having a good time with the drag queens. And, and you've been coming here for years, haven't you? Yeah, I came my very first weekend I was in D.C. I came here on Sunday. 
These divas are all dressed up and they're dancing to tunes that everybody knows and everybody's having a great time. There's even grandmas out there dancing. But I gotta give you a little warning. Sometimes the humor can be a little X-rated. <laughs> Washington, D.C.